What's up guys, Boss here, and in today's video we're going to be playing Electro Giant again, but with a slightly different variation. So as you can see, this Electro Giant deck has four spells in it. That's right, four log, earthquake, tornado, and mirror. But as you guys know, mirror synergizes so well with the Electro Giant, so it's just a very good card to have inside of the deck, especially when you have a champion too. It gives you the three card cycle. So when you have you know, when you play the Electro Giant, you could play the Golden Knight, and then after that, you could still play the level 16 Electro Giant. And then you have Mega Minion just as one solid air counter, whereas that Electro Giant Rocket Bomber deck didn't really have a single air counter in it, so you have more of a chance against Lava, and the Earthquake helps you beat buildings. Let me show you my last couple games. We beat this Electro Giant deck. We have a good matchup because we have Earthquake for his cannon, a really good spell against it. And then this is the only way I was able to beat Recruits Hogs because of the Earthquake. It does really good against the Goblin Cage, so we're able to, yeah, break through and reach his tower. So before we head in the first game, if you guys would like to support me, you can use my credit code boss in any Supercell game. Do appreciate those of you guys who do that. Right now, I'm currently 136 in the world. We could potentially make it to 8,000 trophies this, this video, depending on, you know, how the matches go. So yeah, let's see if we can make it happen. We're at 79, 46 right now. I'll see you guys when we find the first match. Okay, so we found a first game here against... Rio. So let's go ahead and give him the good luck. And the reason why Log is in the deck, and if you guys remember in the last Electro Giant video I made, I believe it didn't have a small spell like Log. It had, I think, Bomber and Skeletons. I put, or the reason why a lot of people are using this deck now with Log is because there's a decent amount of Log Bait right now, the one with the Mighty Miner deck. And that, or Log Bait in general is just really tricky to beat without the Log because they have a you know, a building typically. Um, anyway, we're gonna go Electro Giant here. This could be a mirror match, or he's running something, you know, very similar. That's probably the best way to put it. And as you can see, he does have the cannon. I'm gonna dash, because, um, yeah, I was gonna say he did play the bomber right next to it, so he actually kind of screwed up there playing that bomber. That actually helped me and hurt him, so that was a pretty big mistake. Obviously, um, yeah, he's even calling it a good game. A very, like, small mistake, like, if he just played it probably one tile higher, that wouldn't have happened, because then the bomber wouldn't have been in range of the tower. I will admit, I didn't even know it was going to dash on the tower, but I was almost certain it was going to dash on top of the bomber, killing that, and sure enough, that was the case. So, really, really good um, opportunity for us. So, we're going to Electro Giant here. He doesn't have his cannon, so his best bet is probably tower trading. Now, we don't know his spell, so this could be... A little bit of a problem. I think we for sure are gonna cannon though, and then probably mirror the the cannon. Um, I don't know if he's got earthquake or not. If he doesn't have earthquake, this is actually probably gonna defend it very well. Um, okay. I as much as I wanted a tornado, that I don't know if I could have. I think this was the better play, going golden knight. So then his Golden Knight didn't dash on my tower, because if I went Tornado, I wouldn't have had enough. So yeah, I think that was the correct play, and we saved half of our towers, so we're in a better spot than he is, for sure. Now, he could obviously take our tower, but... it Well, I guess it all depends on if he has Earthquake or not. I don't know if he does. So he's just gonna go... Okay, so definitely Cannon... Um, okay, so we could actually Golden Knight, and then we're still able to mirror the cannon afterwards. So, this is what I was talking about, about the champion. Okay, so he actually goes for a rocket. Ooh, he predicted the cannon, but unfortunately for him, the rocket was not able to, um, yeah, go where it needed to be. Um, that's a very hard prediction, so I mean, it's not really his fault, because I could have played the cannon in many places, since the E-Giant has a pretty large sight range, so... Yeah, that's going to be GG, and as you can see, I'm really glad we actually got this matchup, because it kind of shows you guys why I'm really liking using Earthquake in the deck, because you pretty much have the advantage against all the other people using E-Giant, because everyone using Electro Giant either is using the Cannon or the Goblin Cage, and when you have Earthquake, it is so easy to get your Electro Giant to the tower, and you can even, you know, win the game in just one or two pushes, which is pretty much what happens. So yeah, as you can see, I beat this guy who had Rocket, and then the game before... It's basically the same deck, but he had Fireball, and both times it's a pretty good advantage for us, because Rocket, of course, is pretty bad against Cannon, same with the Fireball, so makes it so much easier. So that's going to put us, let's see our ranking now, 126 in the world, so we're potentially one game away now from 8k, depending on how many trophies we get, but of course it might not be enough, because in the, you know, top of ladder, sometimes you only get, like, 
you know, plus 20 if they're a lot lower than you. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, so we found our next game here against Ma uh, Mamad. X Mamad, okay. Um, We could cycle Mega Minion. I mean, it's pretty safe because even if he were to do something like Lava on the back, I could always just E-Giant in front of the Mega Minions and then just counter push with it. Um, I actually think I'm going to E-Giant, why not? Because he's not doing anything, and we already played a Mega Minion, so I think it's fine. It's not really that risky. Because, yeah, as you can see, it forces so much Elixir out of him just to defend it. So, I'd say it's worth it. Um, and then I'm actually going to go for another E-Giant here. We're going to mirror it. And it'll take out that and the Dark Goblin, so I'd say that's worth it. And the mortar's almost dead, so this should actually be really solid. Um, and nice, the cannon cart should be in the circle of the Electro Giant. We didn't get much damage though, unfortunately. Um, let's just go Golden Knight here. I don't know if he has Minion Horde. Maybe he does. If he does, that's going to get a lot of value because our only counter to it is the um, the E Giant. That's about it. We don't really have any counter to Minion Horde. But luckily, the Earthquake is quite good against the Mortar, I would say, so we do have that going for us. I mean, it's Mortar has a lot of health, so even after you Earthquake it, it it's, it's still alive, but it's... Okay, that was... Yeah, and you can even see he's saying, oops, I was going to say, like, that was a pretty bad play. I don't know why he did that. Um, That, that was definitely a mistake. Um... So we'll just Golden Knight here, and as you can see, we can mirror the Electro Giant if we want to, which I may do, but I think we should play it in the back. Okay, so he decides to go Minion Horde. We could actually... Okay, we actually defended that pretty well, I'd say. We can log this. And then let's E-Giant, and then if he decides to do a minion horde push like that again, we can just E-Giant on top of it, like mirror it. He probably won't though, because he knows I can do that. I'm gonna go E-Giant though now, in the other lane. Let's Earthquake this. And definitely Tornado the Sin to kill it. Okay, nice. Hopefully we can get some good damage here. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot. I mean, I don't even know why I said hopefully. I mean, it's a level... You know... Oh, he just messed up the, the mortar. Nice. That was, that cannon cart helped me out, the dead one. That was clutch. Okay. He did get a lot of damage on the left lane. So we gotta be cautious about that. I'm just gonna Electro Giant. We're gonna go in here. I had a feeling he would do that to try to damage the tower, but that's good for me because I can just cannon it. And we could go for another Electro Giant here. Um, and this should probably be GG. This is not looking good for him, that's for sure. And yeah, that mortar won't damage the other lane, so that's really good for us as well. Yeah, he's laughing, so just by that you can tell he knows he's in a lot of trouble. Um, we could do that. I'm gonna cannon, I think I missed it, but probably doesn't matter that much. Let's just go E-Giant. Yeah, I had a feeling he would do that. Um, just log this, go Earthquake, and that's gonna be GG. Nice. Yeah, I mean, even though, 
you know, Mortar is you know, typically, like, something that's pretty good against E-Giant. The Earthquake definitely helps you out, and the fact we had Log 2 really helped against that Dark Goblin, you saw that came in clutch a couple times, so that's why this variant helps out a lot when you have, um... Yeah, and there was actually a loss I had that I didn't show, so yeah, not gonna be at 8k yet, but if I get fur losses further in the video, I will show it, but just at the very beginning, it's not good to show losses, as you guys know, a lot of other, you know, CR YouTubers don't do that either. I just think it's, you know, people don't like seeing losses, um, or a lot of people um, don't. I know some do, but there's a good amount who don't. Um, but anyway, I'll see you guys when we find the next game. All right, final next game against AKA Ray Supremo. All right, Golden Knight, Mega Minion. So pretty decent starting hand actually because there's a lot of safe cards we can cycle for example log is fine to start the game off with and still if he doesn't do anything we can just go yeah we can go to night it's it's a fine starting play okay he's got bowler this might be the guy if i remember correctly because i think i played against this guy before i think he's using rg it's a very weird rg deck though like it has bowler in it Clearly, for whatever reason, I don't know. Um, I kind of want to see what he wants to do. Like, I don't know if I... Alright, yeah, let's cannon here. And I actually think we'll go... For an E-Giant, because I don't really know... Okay, so he's got... I don't know if this guy has a building. I guess we're about to find out. He might try to be he he might try to be smart there and not use his building, knowing that I have mirror. But I guess we're yeah we'll see if that's the case. So I got earthquake ready though. Yeah. So bowler. Oh, he he's got a cage. I'm gonna log this just to get it killed a little quicker. Cage is a pretty decent answer, I would say, to the Electro Giant. But again, we do got Earthquake, so we certainly can work our way around it. Nice, Bowler doesn't get any damage whatsoever. That's cool. We'll go to Knight now. And I guess we could just E-Giant again. I'm going to NATO this in. Nice. A double log was kind of OP. I think he's got a lightning. If I rem if I uh, remember correctly. That might have been a bad tornado. I mean, he got good damage there with the RG, but that tornado he played, I think, was not the best. So we could actually E Giant again, and then tornado that E was into the opposite lane. Let's earthquake this. He's going to Tornado for sure. He has to. And I think if we just get... Yep. E-Giant is just broken. It is just broken. Log should do it. Even if it doesn't, Mirrored Log about to come in. <laughs> you know, like, it's just broken. It is just... Too good. What can I say? I mean, he, he didn't even do anything, I think, wrong. I mean, maybe the only thing could have been playing cages further away, but 
I think there was not just much he could do. All right, again, yeah, I had a, I had a loss again. Didn't show it because it was a really bad matchup. It was Mortar, but he had Drill for some reason, so he had a second building, and he had Zappies in the deck. So Drill, Mortar, and Zappies, that's going to be tough, especially when you don't have Bomber in the Sea Giant variant, so Drill's slightly harder, but... um. Yes, yeah, so I think, are we officially at, like, a new season highest now? Yeah, I think I am. All right, so very good chance that if I win this, I would be at 8K because 25, it's not too much to ask for. They just have to be within 50 trophies of me if they're below me. All right, see you guys when I find it. Okay, so we found a game against Taurus. This guy, I'm pretty sure, is using Pekka because um, that's usually what he runs. Okay, so he's doing a CRL number one emote. Um, okay, then. Maybe I'll tornado that to the... No, nah, let's actually mirror the... Okay, that's fine, I guess. This is going to be a little hard because we don't have a rocket or a lightning. Pekka isn't that bad when you have one of those. Uh, spells, but in our case, since I have Earthquake, it's certainly going to be kind of tricky. We can still win, it's just, uh, it's, it's going to be really hard to get value out of our, um, our Earthquake, so it's essentially a dead card in the matchup, and Rocket can be helpful at the end to go Rocket Mirror. Okay, the most important thing is surviving single elixir because in double and triple it's a little bit easier to keep up with the spam of the Pekka player. Mm, I was a little scared of logging that because now I had to use more elixir. But I should have logged it right away. I was worried about him going bandit at the bridge, but I realized even if he did that I would have just been able to just tornado it, but, eh, whatever. It's fine. I'm gonna go Golden Knight here. Let's see what this guy does. He's gonna go E Wiz. I think he can't stop that. Oh my god, he can't stop it. One E Giant. Wow. Oh my goodness. Ah, plus 42. Yeah, he was a lot. He was so much higher than me because, yeah, I lost a couple games in a row. Oh my god. And again, they weren't good losses because I got absolutely destroyed, especially this 3M game. 3M is really difficult. Um, it's like one of the hardest matchups probably for this deck because even though you have Earthquake for the Collector, you have nothing for the 3M and they can just stack them, mirror them, and the E-Barbs get a lot of value. So this is one that would be really tricky without um like a rocket or a lightning but yeah i'm really glad i won that that is not very easy in my opinion but at the same time it's not difficult it's probably one that could go either way and we had a really good single elixir which is why we were able to win um but yeah i'd say let's play one more game yeah win or, win or loss this will be our last one and yeah we probably won't make it to 8k this video um unless i decide to like i don't know keep playing tonight until i get it and then just kind of choose what games i show or something like that i don't know but Maybe it'll just be, you know, for my next video, what I'll do, I'll just play some 
I'll by then be at 8k, hopefully. All right, I'll see you guys when we find it. All right, so this guy is a lot lower than us. So the guy who I just played against was a lot higher. Now this guy's a lot lower. All right, go ahead and give him the good luck. So we'll cycle Golden Knight and see what the, he chooses to do. Okay, he's going to go... I think we should do this and just E-Giant the bridge, to be honest, because I don't really have... What in the world was that Golden Knight doing? Oh my goodness. Um, now I could potentially mirror the E-Giant. Um, Fisherman died, so it actually might be a decent play. I'm considering it, just mirroring the Electro Giant. Yeah, let's just do it. Um, I forget, I don't know if this guy is a... Nah, he doesn't have a Tombstone if he's got a Skarmy. Ooh, but he's got... Okay, so yeah, that's going to be defended really easy. Look at all those zappies. Wow. Goodness. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This is not good. Ah, the Golden Knight dash got reset as well. Jeez. I was not expecting him to have Mirror. That could potentially be a GG. I mean, that that was a whole lot of damage I just took. Yeah. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, people are adapting to the... Uh... Ah, th this is it. Yeah. People are adapting to... That, I mean, that was actually a smart play on his end. I mean, it was annoying, but he knew I didn't have log and cycle. So, I mean, it worked because I had to use my and i also wasn't able to electro giant so yeah that was, i mean that was a smart play i mean it worked out well for him i am surprised he split zappies and played two in the other lane knowing that or he should know i'm going in this lane or want to anyway ah uh, there's just too much there's too much uh swarm this is <laughs> This is brutal. Yeah, that's GG. Um, yeah, it, like, there's just too much. Especially the mirror. I mean, that, like, even more so makes it more challenging. Rip. Yeah. So, yeah, as you can see, um, people, this deck, RG deck, used to not have mirror, but I think it's included because of E-Giant mirror to kind of, like, ensure you're able to get enough zappies down. So, yeah, that's going to be GG. Um, pretty difficult, um, but anyway, still a pretty good video, um, we had some good wins, we didn't make it to 8k, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, enjoyed this deck, it's, um, you know, it's fun to play, uh, he said a good game now already three times, I already said it once, but I guess I'll say it again, uh, even though it was a pretty good matchup for him, um, but, yeah, so, hope you guys enjoyed it, um, again, Earthquake gonna really help you out, break through buildings, but, like, in cases like this where they don't have the building, then obviously, it's going to be a little bit trickier, but in this case, in this type of matchup, if I had a lightning or a rocket, it wouldn't have even helped. I mean, a lightning doesn't do jack squat against zappies. I mean, that's a horrible trade. And same with a rocket. I mean, because they can easily space everything out. And yeah, it's so, you know, either, no matter what spell I had, that was just going to be challenging. Um, same with 3M. I mean, you could argue like, okay... It might be a little easier with Rocket or Lightning, but I think just 3M in general does quite good against E-Giant. All right, so make sure to like the video if you guys did end up enjoying it. Subscribe if you guys are not subscribed already. And thanks again. Until next time, guys.